Hi there, Dr. Wolf here. We're going to do a quick R tutorial on working with data frames. Data frames are the most common structure that you'll work with in R. Many times you'll load data from a file into these types of structures. Essentially, they are going to be the same length of columns and, and rows of vectors. So what we're going to end up seeing is that we're going to create a data frame for a used auto dealer. Okay, um, So I'm going to create this data frame. I'm going to call it autos. And all I do to create a data frame is I say what I want to call it. It's going to be called autos. And I'm going to assign it to data.frame. Okay, And then I'm going to set up my structure. So in my data, I want to have makes. So consider makes as like a column. Okay, and I'm going to set the values of makes equal to Ford. So on my car dealership, I have Ford, I have Chevy, and I have Dodge. So these are the makes of cars you'd expect to find on my dealership. Now, also, I want to classify them into trucks. So I have some trucks, and the trucks for Ford. Um, is going to be the F-150. Okay, I just I have the I only carry the F-150 for Ford, so I just happen to carry one truck for each one of these makes. So it's going to be the F-150, and then I'm going to have for the uh, Chevy, I'm going to have the Silverado, and then for the Dodge, we'll, we're going to have the Ram. Okay, so that's our trucks on our lot. Now we're going to have cars and we'll do cars are going to equal to we're going to have the F um, the escort which doesn't get made anymore but we have a very old escort on the lot. We're going to have an Impala which I believe they stopped making too and then the dart which maybe also stopped making so my car is may no longer be high in demand and then I'm also going to have a category of SUVs and SUVs are going to come out to be the Bronco which they brought back the Blazer which I believe they brought back as well recently and then lastly the Durango for Dodge okay so this is my data frame and I close off the end of this. So I'm going to organize it a little nicer uh, so that it's readable. And we're going to see how this prints out our rows and columns here accordingly. So let's just, let's just double check to make sure I don't have any problems or typos. I do see I have a few red lines. So let's see if I made any mistakes. Yep, I've read the, read the C here and the C there. Uh, I think that might be the problems. Yep. So that's what my data frame is going to look like. Now, let's actually see what this looks like. So we're going to print out print out the data frame. So what does a data frame actually look like? Well, so if we do print in R and we say output of the data frame here, what we can do is just basically print. And what's my data frame name? It's the autos. So let's see what's in it. And we're also, when we're done, we're going to put it back some spacing after this run so we can have spacing for the next example. So we'll put a blank line after that. All right, so let's start it from the top. And you see the output down below. We see makes, Ford, Chevy, and Dodge, trucks, F-150, Silverado, Ram, cars, Escort, Impala, Dart, SUV, Bronco, Blazer, and Durango. So that's our data frame. We have a nice set of rows and columns. Symbolizes that uh, you might load in from maybe a CSV file, potentially in the future. Uh, so keep that in mind. Now, what we can do is we can access individual columns if we want to. Um, so I'm going to just save a little bit of time here. I'm going to copy in a couple examples I have. And the first one's going to be, let's just see the makes of cars. So how do we do that? Well, here, makes of cars are in our first column. In R, the first column is accessed with a number 1. So if we say makes of cars, set that equal to autos. And if we go ahead and print those out, let's do that same thing. We're going to print out our makes of cars. So let's run these couple of lines and see how this works. 
and you'll see down below just the Ford, Chevy, and Dodge column prints out. Uh, another thing we can do, uh, we could establish a matrix, we can slice the data up, and we can actually see as if and have multiple columns of use. So we can do that with a matrix. So here I have established a matrix. I'm saying my autos, I want to access just the makes, and I just want the trucks. Well, in this case, let's change that over. Let's do the cars. So what we'll see is we'll see the autos of the makes and the cars print out. Let's watch this work. And down below, you see makes and cars. Okay, so we know we didn't actually need to see the trucks in this case. And let's do one last final example. Let's see if a value actually exists in our um, data set. Okay, so let's see if a certain um, make of truck exists. Okay, so check to see if we have Fords. So what we can do here to see if we have Fords, that's going to be in our autos make column. We can do is autos check the makes column to see if we have the value of Ford <clears throat> and watch what happens when we run this. So I'll run those out and down below we see true false false. Okay so let's change that from Ford let's change that to Chevy and see what happens. So let's run that line just one more time. False true true. Okay I'm sorry false true false. So what this does, checking the value is there, it tells us that Chevy exists here where it's true in the second position. When we tested it with Ford, it showed us that true was in the first position and it didn't exist in the other two. I hope you found this tutorial useful in working with data frames. You'll find many value of using data frames in the future in R. Uh, if you have any comments, please place them below and I hope you subscribe for future updates. Thank you.